everyone, it's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are doing prompt number 28 of Inktober. We are literally almost done, only a couple of days left. Today's prompt is floats, and I decided to do a little sheet ghost at first, but it ends up turning into a sheet ghost with a skull underneath later. I am once again using a Strathmore Artist Tile, which is 4x4. Four four. I got my initial sketch in just using a mechanical pencil, and right now I am using a couple of different liners to get the lines in, and then to do a little bit of crosshatching. I'm using an Alvin Tech liner in 3, and I am also using a .3 Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica pen. This is a project where I just kind of went with the flow. Like I said, I originally was just going to do a sheet ghost, but then I was starting to make some more shapes into the apparition itself, and a skull started coming out of it, so I just went with it. I pulled in a brush liner, and that one is a Faber-Castell pit pen to get some of the darker lines and the deeper shadowing going on, and then I decided I wanted to pull in some color. It is yellow ochre and is a Kiritake Zig Cambio Tambian pen. After a couple layers of that, I pull in my white paint sharpie to help brighten up areas where that yellow accidentally got in. And I also pull in some gray markers to pull over the cross hatching to add some more shading. Pretty soon here I decided that our skull needed a jaw. I typically draw skulls without having a jawbone for some reason, so figured for this one it needed it. Go in again with the liners to help thicken up certain lines and to bring in a little bit more shading. I specifically do some lines going down underneath our ghost. I wanted to add a little bit more texture and to insinuate some motion going on, so that's why I did those black lines there at first. I pull in a yellow aqua pen graphics marker to help blend out the yellow that I already have laying down. And then I start bringing in some reds and grays into the skull and sheet itself. After adding a little bit of red into those areas, I also bring in that yellow that I just blended the background with, except it is just going to be straight up yellow for a good little chunk of this, and I'm using it to also blend out the red. I go back to the white sharpie to help pull out some more highlights. Pretty soon I decide that I want to pull some more red into the background, because right now it's just a flat yellowish orange color, and pulling in some lines of red adds some more texture, and it brings in the reds that I already have in our ghost. I create lines over certain areas of the skull because I really want it to look like there's a sheet on top of the skull, so I start pulling in some black lines and then I pull in some white highlight lines to help give that idea. I pull a yellow paint sharpie into the background and I do the same thing with the white paint sharpie and the black pen. I just wanted to add some dots like I've been doing lately. I just like the effect it gives, especially over the lines. I think it adds a lot of texture. And for something like this that's super natural, it almost feels like there's little orbs of light following it around. I use my black pen to help define some more areas a little bit better, get some more shading in, and we're just doing the finishing touches on this drawing. I liked how it turned out, I thought it was kind of cute, and just had fun with it. And with that, this project and therefore this video is pretty much done. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, concerns, or you want to let me know how your Inktober is going, let me know all about that in that comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to be doing a project every day for the month of October, so please feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!